I was originally born in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada, and I was raised in Burlington, and I lived there my whole life, so I'm a Canadian. But my family back home is Congolese, and they immigrated to Canada years ago. You vision it as a player to get to that next level, but to get here so quickly, as fast as I did, in the way I did, coming off the bench, you know, being a reserve player and kind of just showing out, I really appreciate, you know, these NBA executives and scouts kind of recognizing my game. So to see how it turned out, it's a bit surprising. I feel like it was a mixture of everything. You know, I went to a smaller high school. I'm Canadian, so the exposure level compared to America is a bit different. And I was a late bloomer. I, I, when I graduated high school, I was about six foot six, a tweener. My body was still filling out. So that kind of combination was why I felt like I was overlooked. But Florida State took a chance on me, and I developed my game and cultivated it to where it is today. Um, I would just say my consistency. I feel like my work capacity, my workload to get better has improved. I feel like every year, Throughout the month, throughout the season, I improved, made tremendous strides in my game. My confidence grew, as well as my jump shot in the mid post and the three point area. So I feel like those facets of my game is what made it really stands out. I would say be a better playmaker. I felt like a lot of time this season I could have made plays for others, and I didn't do that. So the next level, I really want to be able to facilitate and make plays as a big and kind of create offense on my team. The first thing I have to work on is my ball handling, be able to get into the paint, create for others, you know, sink in the defense, and then kick out and see what's open. You know, when I, my ball handling gets up, my vision will clear up so I'm not tunnel vision, and I feel like by improving that, I feel like my game will open up way more. Um, as of right now, I love watching LaMarcus Aldridge. I love watching Kevin Love. You know, I like watching all the stretch fours in the past, like Sergi Baca as well. I like watching Pascal Siakam. I feel like my game can translate to be that where I can be a forward and not just a big. And players in the past, you know, the comparison I got a lot was Vin Baker. And I didn't really know about him in the past. And once I started watching his film and learning about his game, I can definitely see the resemblance. He always told me, be fee. You know, whatever happens, be yourself. Know your game. Know your skill set. Of course, you have to calibrate to what, whatever the team needs. But at the end of the day, you must be yourself. You know, things happen all around you, but if you retain who you are as a player, as a person, you'll be fine.